And, um, yeah, so I'm not, I just want to say before we stick it too far in, now that I know a little more about Formula One, yeah, I know I made a terrible decision by going to Haas, <laughs> and, uh, my favorite driver of Formula One is Max Verstappen, and so I'm, so as soon as I can get out of this contract, I would try to go to Red Bull, but I'm pretty sure they're going to hate me because Devin Butler, <laughs> my rival, if you saw the uh, live stream for from F2, you would know. But uh, my rivals was Red Bull, so they're probably going to hate me. So uh, it's either kick Max for stepping out or uh, kick my rival out, which is probably going to be their star driver. So I guess we're going for Mercedes. But uh, yeah, I doubt they're giving up. Uh, I, I mean, I, I bet they're willing to give up uh, Valtteri Bottas, but uh, they're not giving up Hamilton. But, uh, yeah, it's either, uh, I mean, we're just gonna have to hope, and if not Mercedes, I, I guess McLaren? I don't know. It, it gets tough after this, okay? <laughs> Maybe for all, I don't know. But, uh, we're gonna go on with the first few races, see if we can, uh, show, um, see if we can get Haas to their, uh, NASCAR form in the, win a bunch of races and uh, potentially get themselves to a championship, but um, as soon as we can get out of this contract, uh, we're, we're getting out of it, which I have done, um, I have done up to race eight in, um, I can't remember what country, or race nine or something like that. I got up to there in career mode, and I believe it's every four races you get a new contract, so we're just going to have to deal with house for like four races, hopefully. And then we can negotiate with other teams, but we're going to have to go out there and do really good at these four races. And, uh, I'm going to check what tracks they are. As you can see, for now, we have kicked off Kevin Magnuson and, uh, Roman Grosjean is our teammate. But we're going to go to the workstation here, and, um, yeah, somehow we have six unread mes messages, so, uh, that's good. But yeah, 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 yeah. So, right now, contract value is... Even with our value, um, it's landing us towards a rookie, so that's good. And we are currently their second driver. They expect us to qualify eighth and finish eighth. Uh, I do know that Australia is kind of a 50-50 track. I'm either really good at it or I'm pretty bad at it. So, uh, yeah, we're going to see what happens here. I do I do think it is fun to drive, though. Most of the tracks that, I'm fun, that I think is fun to drive is um, we do pretty good at, so... Uh, yeah, we're going to see what happens here, but uh, doubt it's going to be too much as we, we're we going to go into practice number one, and for the sake of uh, trying to keep the first one cool and traditional and that stuff, I'm going to move this up a little bit so you can see the whole screen. And Formula One. Loading logo, yeah, yeah, yeah. This first race of the season is always quite difficult for us track side, and for those back at the factory as well, as it's the first time the car has run since winter testing. The more consistent mileage you can get in these sessions, the happier we'll be. Alright, so it's telling us that, yeah, yeah, I know what uh, this stuff is. So, let's go to the session info. We have half an hour, which I'm going to skip most of that. Um... So let's see here, we are uh, known as Racing Guy, so uh, whenever that happens, it's good to see that, but uh, yeah, so we're going to go to track, we're going to drive out for this one, but if we ever do it again, we're going to be, we're going to be doing a flying lap, but we are driving for Haas in Formula One, so as the, uh, let us back out, we have the number 24, on the side of the car and the front of the car, so that's cool. We have the number 24 for Haas. So, uh, see what we can do here. We're gonna head into the DRS, so I'm gonna do one lap. So this is the warm up lap, and then we're gonna do one hot lap, and that's gonna be it. I have the ERS deployment. Oh my god, why is it? Why is that? 
Alright, I gotta do some settings here real quick. So, employee settings, I believe is where it's at. Where's the, where's the ERS deployment? Doesn't really matter. Uh, is this, is this? ERS deployment, there it is. Um, I, I am keeping pit assist on. Because everybody does. So I'm not going to change that. But now I can control how much ERS goes out at a time. Which is so useful. So, so useful. Because, uh... I, like, the, the game likes to push hard until it runs out. And then when it runs out, it just keeps you at nothing until it gets completely full. And the, uh, mechanic are screaming at you to uh, release some more ERS, but uh, can't do anything because it's automatic. And yeah, it's just the whole thing, so. <laughs> Gonna deal with that. Oh, the card didn't turn, the card didn't turn. Don't hit the barrier, we hit the barrier. This is why we have the instant replay slash flashback. So, if anything crazy like this happens, we just do that, use this, and we're back at this part before the wreck because you can see we don't have any front wing damage. So, good. We'll be using this often. <laughs> Just gonna say it now. Into a breaking zone. Another breaking zone. So I believe this track is like 15 turns, I think. Something like that. So, uh, here's gonna be our... Hot lab, this is gonna be interesting. Alright. Fuel mode at the max, ERS deployment at the max. We're going full speed into turn one. Our average speed, 192.7 miles an hour. That is fast. I forgot to put the DRS up, so that's a problem. DRS is drag reduction system, so it produces a uh, less drag. So the car goes faster and it's better for passing. And then the ERS is just kind of uh, extra power. And uh, fuel, we all know what fuel is. And it does. And we put up a purple sector one, fastest sector one of the practice session. Not surprising because we're only the second car to do sector one in a hot lap like this. So uh, no surprise there. I think this is my, I think that's Roman Grosjean up there. This is our teammate. I think he's the only other one out right now. It looks like it is. Fastest Sector 2. Which, by the way, they put him... He's the star driver, so we're going to have to be the one making sacrifices for him most of the time. In team or when team orders come in. So, yeah. Just telling you that now, and it looks like another car has came out to do some laps. But, uh... Yeah, it is Grosjean. Alright. So Haas, yeah, I mean, I, I I don't know if the drivers choose or uh, or if the team chooses, but uh, Haas is sending their drivers out as quickly as they can. Roman Grosjean puts it the fastest lap, and then we that, just obliterate his time by five seconds. I'm going to tell the crew I'm boxing this lap. I'm going to slow down the... Uh, fuel deployment and everything take it easy on the car we don't want to do anything crazy yet right now i know you're probably mad at me for slowing down but put up a solid lap we need to uh take care of the car make sure uh, nothing too bad happens and uh we'll be fine also it is so i know it was weird with the intro because i've done the intro like three times and i threw in the halloween intro and it's, uh, that's only going to be around for october by the way but, uh, it's really weird because I'm using a Halloween helmet. Also, okay. As I was saying, it's really weird with the October intro because I've only really used it once or twice and I'm going to start using the intro a lot more often now. So that's going to make it weird. But what also makes it weird is, uh, I'm using a Halloween edition helmet. So we have a special helmet for Halloween. But since I haven't done any other career mode videos besides the F2, 
live stream. It is a, yeah, I usually run a blue, green, dark blue or purple helmet. I can't remember which one of the two it was. I think it was dark blue. But, uh, yeah, so just keep that in mind. This orange helmet's only going to be here for a little bit. Also, you can barely see the purple stripe on it that's in the back, but it is there. Trust me, it's orange, black, and purple for Halloween. Trust me, it is there. And as they pull me into the stall and back me up. We're in. And also done with practice. We have a number of programs to run during these practice sessions. You can check the details in the car monitor. We'll get good data for both the race and factory teams. Good ERS so management. Alright, so they want me to... Alright, what do you want me to do? Average tire wear. Okay. Good fuel management. Oh, they want me to save a fuel. Okay. Good ERS management, qualifying pace, they want me to be 11. Race strategy, team objectives, uh, low fuel, chain, five corn. I don't know what that is. Uh, okay. So I think we get the idea. So, out of the four drivers that have been out, we are fastest by an entire four seconds ish. So, uh,. Yeah, that's good. It uh, looks like there's seven cars out on track. So that's interesting. And we're just going to... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm going to accelerate some time here. Go in terms of... Okay. Well, see you for your uh, qualifying. Alright, I said I'd see you in qualifying, but I skipped to the end and uh, cannot help but notice we are ahead of Max Verstappen, who I wanted to race for, or, be, or has my teammate. Uh, he, he doesn't own the Red Bull team. Uh, who I now want to get, I, I want to get to Red Bull, and I want him as my teammate. I need to drive my way out of this contract. But uh, not only did he get second behind me, but Devin Butler's third. Wow. And Lucas Weber and a McLaren is way back in 13th. But I think the most shocking thing in the, the F1 world is probably blowing up right now that they have a Haas in the, uh, the top right now. And it was only by 0 0.856 seconds. So not much between me and Max Verstappen. So qualifying is going to be interesting. No, it says practice one, but I skipped qualifying. So yeah. We head to qualifying. Let me move this down just a tiny bit. Uh, yeah, I can tell it's getting winter time. See, I'm far enough north. I live far enough up, up north so that um, the sun it, it gets uh, it gets dark around five. <laughs> yeah, and uh, uh, like late December it can get dark around five. It's already getting dark in the sunset at seven thirty. Everybody here gets annoyed at this time because it happens so fast. So, alright, Red Bull wants me a little more than I thought. In fact, it's actually Williams that doesn't want me the most. Toro Rosa wants me most, which is surprising. Alpha, so, actually, I think it's Alpha Romeo. I don't know, it's hard to tell, but from here it looks like Alpha Romeo, Ferrari, and Toro Rosa want me in it. That Ferrari program is hunting for me because Ferrari also, so they're, um, like, so Red Bull has Toro Rosso as their, like, second team for, like, okay, let's develop the drivers, give them experience, then we'll put them in our top tier ride. That's what Ferrari has with Alfa Romeo, so, <laughs> yeah, um, Ferrari camp really wants me, uh, so that's interesting. Uh, as we head to qualifying, yep, 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 uh, okay, it's supposed to be cloudy during the race and qualifying, alright, not that big of a deal. The Bahrain Grand Prix, second, which I'm really good at that track, I think it's one of the drives, so that's good. 
Um, we should win at that track. China, we should win. There's a chance we won't. Kind of like Australia here this first race. We should win, but never know. Things going to happen. Azerbaijan is uh, my second to worst track. So, uh, mostly because of Sector 2. So, if we can survive Sector 2, um, we actually might have a chance. But it's my second worst track, so, I'm not, so don't count on it. And then, and then that would be the end of the contract. And then it's Spain... Which is a, which is kind of like China and Australia. We should win, but we might not. There's a chance we won't. And then Monaco, my worst track. We're probably gonna DNF out of it, or at least need like 50 front wings repaired. So uh, yeah, Monaco, we're gonna suck. We're gonna finish 20th. That's a guarantee. No matter what team we have, unless I somehow get pull and then just tr and then just block. Like, nothing. Like, it's the only thing I know how to do. But then, luckily, after Monaco, we hit a streak of up to six, I would say even up to, like, eight races that can go really great for us because I'm really good at Canada, really good at France, really good at Austria, really good at Great Britain. Those four races we should win. And if Germany, Hungary, Belgium, and Italy go well, that's eight races in a row. That are really good in the... It's a 21 race schedule. So then it's Singapore. We're going to suck there. That's the street course. I suck at the street courses. And Azerbaijan is one of them. And it's really early in the season. So that's not good. Uh, Russia, I'm good at. That's a street course. That's like the only street course I'm good at. Uh, Japan. We're probably not going to do that great. Mexico, we should do good. United States, we should do good. We should win that race. Same with Mexico. Brazil, we should win that race. And then Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates, should win that race. So, um, yeah, the final four races look good. Um, and then there's that stretch that could be eight really good races for us. And it starts out by two, and, it start, and the season starts out pretty bad, but it just gets better as it goes on. So, just keep that in mind as we um, go to qualifying. So, let's do that. And then it's the race. Yeah, how much time? Oh, okay. So I'm going to do qualifying, and then we're going to make a part two of actually doing the race. So, uh, yeah, this has kind of just been a little overview, getting things ready. And uh, we'll do the race next, because I don't want this video to be way long. So, I'm going to qualify in the medium tires. I know. I forgot to turn that off. Are you kidding me? All right, and we're going to change some stuff here. All right, uh, and I can't even turn it off here. Okay, good, cool. All right, dear zone, let's go. Why do I have ERS going right now? Why am I off in the gravel? Why, why, why? Wait, this is the qualified lap? Oh, no. Alright, so we're going to go with the medium tires here. Um, I need to change that setting. Um... But here we go. One qualifying lap is all we got. Full ERS deployment. Maximum fuel. As much as we can go. That was horrible. And Devin Butler's got pole position right now. The right my rival. Okay, we need to need to get up to him. Seventh is what we're being scored at right now. Eighth. Oh, Sight in the grass. Somehow we're keeping up. Quote unquote. We're gonna need a replay flashback right here. Remember that feature I showed you earlier? The replay flashback? Yeah, we're gonna need that. Like I said, we're gonna be using it a lot. Chasing Sebastian Vettel up in the fourth. 
And to pole position we go. We are currently on track to get the pole position. I can now break these people a lot. So, uh, that's good. And I hit the grass. I hit the grass. What am I doing? Vettel's way back there. His ghost car is way back there. So that's good. Into a braking zone. Oh, we've kind of gone off. Charles Leclerc. He's now going to try to catch up. And that Ferrari is coming after me. But the Haas is going into their NASCAR 4. And as they go into the final two turns of the Australian Grand Prix, they messed it up. They have choked. Luckily, Ferrari is not that good. And, and the qualifying, we're going to get the pole position. So that's going to do it for this video. If you want to see more, leave a like and subscribe. Do all that stuff. See you in the next one.